Did you guys like to go to a movie tonight? No, I'd rather play poker. I feel lucky. Well, how about tossing for the check, then? Okay, I'm game. Five man pays. Heads. Heads. Tails for Wally. Looks like you got the check, Wally, and thank you. Hey, what about my quarter? Thanks for the tip. I've been robbed. Hi, Dave. Hi, Jack. Oh, hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hey, sit down and have a hamburger. Wally's picking up the check. Oh, well, that's a novelty. Well, actually, it doesn't make any difference. I'll win it back tonight anyway. Well, what's happening tonight? Oh, we're trying to get up a little poker game. Would you like to join us, Dave? Yeah, how about it? Yeah, it sounds good. Of course, I'll have to check with June. Oh, yeah, that's right. We've got a married man on our hands here. Uh, maybe you'd better forget about it. It'd be pretty embarrassing if she wouldn't let you out of the house. Oh, he looks like a loser anyway. I'd hate to take his allowance away from him. <laughs> well, it's very funny, you guys, but for your information, I happen to be the captain of my ship. If I want to play poker tonight, I'll play poker. That is, if it's all right with the Admiral. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all set. Great, where all we play? How about over at the fraternity? Oh, not over there. There's always a bunch of guys sitting around doing their homework, studying for exams. It's too distracting. You can't concentrate on the game. We could play over at my house. We played there the last two times. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, Captain, looks like it's up to you. What time do you want us aboard? Well, why don't we make it about 8 o'clock? Uh, eight bells. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> Hi, Junie. Come on in. I was just on my way home from the market, and I thought I'd stop by and say hello. Well, I'm glad you did. How about a cup of coffee? It's all ready. Oh, it sounds good. How have you been? Oh, just fine. And how's that son of mine? Oh, he's fine, too, I guess. I haven't seen too much of him today. How come? Well, he went downtown to do some shopping, and I think he might be getting something from me. Oh, good. Yeah, a surprise. Today's kind of a special occasion for us. Really? What's that? Well, it was just a year ago tonight that he asked me to marry him. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> I guess that does sound kind of silly to make a special occasion out of it. Oh, not to me it does. Nazi and I have lots of silly special occasions. Oh, does he always remember them? Oh, with a little prodding. <sighs> I wonder if David will remember. He might, but to be honest with you, I wouldn't be too disappointed in case he doesn't. What kind of prodding do you usually use? Well, sometimes I use a direct approach, like saying, Gee, I wish I could think of something to get you for our anniversary. <laughs> That's pretty direct, all right. And then the special cake always does the trick. Oh, what's that? Well, when we were first married, Ozzy told me that his favorite dessert was a chocolate cake with marble frosting, so I'd bake one for him every once in a while. And it got to be kind of a family gag. Every time he'd see the cake, he'd say, What's a special occasion? Did Dave know about this? Oh, sure. In fact, the boys would see the cake and say, Well, guess Dad's gonna bring home flowers tonight. I think Dave will probably remember, though. You say it was the night he proposed to you? Yeah, I'll never forget it. I guess he was trying to figure out how to say it. I remember he acted as if he had something on his mind. You're awfully quiet tonight. Are you mad at me? How could anybody ever be mad at you? I'm just trying to figure out how to say something. How to say something to me? Yeah. Is it something nice? Well, I hope so. Then why don't you just go ahead and say it? Well, well, listen carefully now. I want you to hear every word. I'm listening. I love you. Will you marry me? Oh, David. Would you like some time to think it over? Yes, I would. Two seconds. I love you, David Nelson. Does that mean yes? Oh, that means yes, 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 yes. Folks, would you like some dessert? <laughs> well, what do you think, Mom? You've known David longer than I have. Do you think he'll remember? Oh, I'm sure he will. Of course, he hasn't said anything about it today, but that could be because he wants to surprise me. Yeah, that could be. Well, you know, if he's planning something special for me, maybe I ought to do something special for him. Yeah, that's an idea. You mean something like baking a cake? That's just what I was thinking of. What kind would you suggest? Well, um, how about a chocolate cake with marble frosting? Oh, that you should say that. That's just what I had in mind. <laughs> oh, Junie, that looks just wonderful. Thanks to you. Oh, all I did was make a few suggestions. You did all the work. Well, thank you anyway. Are you sure it's all right if I borrow this? Oh, certainly. Well, I'll bring it back tomorrow. There's no hurry. Well, I guess I better be getting home. Oh, listen, before you go, I bought a dress at the Emporium yesterday I'd like you to see. Do you have a few minutes? Oh, sure. 
It's so darn hard to find anything at this time of the year. I know what you mean. We're kind of in between seasons. Well, hi, girls. Hi. Hi. Oh, what have you two been up to? Oh, we've been finding all sorts of surprises. Oh, good for you. What have you been up to? Uh, well, uh, I've been over talking to Doc, and I have a proposition for you. I can tell I'm going to get the worst of this just for the way you brought it up. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, one of the guys in their bowling team can't make it, and they want me to take his place tonight. Well, I thought you were going to take me to the movies. Well, I'll take it tomorrow night. Well, it's a promise. And I'll grab a bite to eat over there, and then you won't have to cook dinner, okay? Oh, big deal. <laughs> okay. Well, it looks like I don't get to go to the movies tonight. Well, better luck tomorrow night. Ah, I caught you, Pop. Oh. Hi, <laughs> just looking things over here. Mom baked a cake, huh? Oh, yeah. It looks good. I'll get a knife. Oh, uh, wait a second, Rick. Uh, we can't eat this. Why not? It, it, it's got marble frosting. Don't you recognize it? This is one of those cakes your mother bakes when there's some special occasion she wants me to remember. What's the occasion? Well, I, I don't know. I, I just saw the cake this minute. See, it's not my birthday. It's not hers. How about your anniversary? No, I've already forgotten that. <laughs> Why don't you just ask me? I think the best thing to do is make believe I haven't seen it. I'll let your mother think I've forgotten whatever the special occasion is. Well, you have forgotten. Well, no, not, not really. I've seen the cake. At least I'm one step ahead of the game. I remember that there's something I've forgotten. Well, I don't think I quite follow you. Well, uh, anyway, what I mean is I think I'll let your mother worry for a while, and when I come home from bowling, I'll bring her some flowers or something to, to let her know I haven't forgotten. Forgotten what? Well, uh, the special occasion, uh, whatever it is. Wouldn't it be easier just to give her a kiss and mumble happy something or other? <laughs> no, I, I think I'll let her worry a little and, and think I've forgotten it. Uh, Pop? Yeah, yes, yes, I, I know, I know, I have forgotten. <laughs> Can you let me know the next time you go down there? You bet I will. Oh, are you leaving so soon? I think I better. I've been here all afternoon. Oh, well, I'm glad you could stop by. Thank you. Uh, uh, Harry, you, you sure it's okay for me to go bowling tonight? Well, sure. And you won't mind having dinner alone? No, of course not. Uh, I'm liable to be pretty late. Well, that's okay. Just don't forget your key. Oh, okay. Well, bye, June. Bye. You left your coat in the kitchen, dear. Uh, bye, June. Bye, Ricky. Uh, Pop? Yeah. Are you sure about that special cake business? Mom didn't seem too upset or anything. Oh, uh, you didn't think so? I th thought she was a little bit. <laughs> Do you think I ought to put it out someplace where he's sure to see it? Yes, I think so. Suppose he doesn't remember what it's for. Oh, don't worry. He will. I hope so. Maybe I ought to save it for dessert, and if he hasn't remembered by then, it'll be a good way to remind him. <laughs> oh, whatever you think. Of course, I could just let him see it right away. No, I think I'll save it. He'll remember. Well, bye, Mom. Bye-bye, dear. Oh, and Mom, no fear calling him up and warning him. I promise. It's a surprise for you. Oh, how wonderful. I love surprises, especially when they're for me. Why? It's nothing to get excited about. Well, of course it is. Oh, it isn't really. Just a couple of chocolate donuts. Chocolate donuts? Yeah, you said the other day you like chocolate donuts for breakfast. Oh, yeah. Gee, thanks. I just happened to see them and I remembered. Well, I love chocolate donuts. I I've got another little surprise for you, too. Oh? What's that? Well, uh, I've invited some of the fellows over to play poker tonight. Oh, 
How nice. I, I hope it's okay. It's just Rick and Wally and Charlie and maybe a couple other guys. Oh, yeah, that sounds fine. I, I was pretty sure we didn't have anything important to do tonight, so I went right ahead and invited him. That's okay. Hey, you know, this is kind of a special occasion tonight. It's the first time I've had the guys over for poker. <laughs> Thanks, honey. Uh, uh, June? Hmm? Uh, are you upset about something? I mean, would you rather I didn't have the boys over? No, of course not. Oh, you, you said to have them over any time I wanted to. Yes, I know. Who did you say was coming over? Uh, uh, Wally, Ricky, uh, Charlie, Joe, and Tommy. I ought to be here any minute. Well, I guess I better get out of here. Well, where are you going? Oh, I thought I'd go in the bedroom and read. Oh. That's okay, isn't it? Well, yeah, unless you'd rather phone Doris or somebody and go to the movies. Would you rather have me do that? Well, I just want you to do whatever you want to do. Well, if you want me to go to the movies, I'll go. <laughs> Don't be silly. I'm not trying to get you out of the house. Oh, I know that. Maybe I will call Doris and see if she wants to go to a show. Well, whatever you want to do. Maybe I will. What's the matter? I just remembered she has a date. She's going out to dinner with some friends. Well, wait a minute. It's her birthday, isn't it? Yes, it is. How did you know? Uh, I don't know. I just happened to think of it. As a matter of fact, I've got a pretty good memory for things like that. Hi, fellas. Come Hi, on Dan. in. Hi, Hi June. Hi, Hi, Charlie. Hi, Dan. Hi, 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 June. Hi, Hi, Dan. Hi, Wally. Tommy. Hi, Hi June. Hi, Wally. Boy, if I had a beautiful wife like you, I wouldn't invite the guys over to play poker. Thanks, Wally. You're in pretty good shape tonight. Oh, really? I was afraid I'd gained a few pounds. <laughs> hey, come on, you guys. Let's move this table out into the center of the room. We can see a little better. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, this sure is a nice place you have here, Dave. Oh, thanks. Junie deserves all the credit. She did most of the work. Just to show you how generous I am, I brought the cigars. Uh, uh, thanks, Wally, but I've smelled those cigars of yours before. Why don't you smoke them? Yeah, and sit by the window. Well, if you fellas will excuse me, I'll leave you alone for a while. Uh, will you have a cigar? <laughs> I'll be right back. What are you going to do, honey? Well, I thought I'd go visit with your mother for a while. But yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, you're sure you'll be all right? Sure. Come on, Dave. Yeah, come on, Dave. I feel lucky. Go ahead, honey. They're waiting for you. You're sure it'll be okay? Of course. Hey, Dave? Uh, oh, okay. I'll see you later. Good night, fellas. Good night. Good night. Uh, good night. Come on, Dave. You're going to play, aren't you? Yeah. How many? Four. Are you in, David? No, I'm out. Who opened? I did for two. I'm in. How about you, Wally? Gee, I don't know. With a hand like this, I really should fold. We'll do something. Well, we came to play. I might as well be a sport. How many cards do you want, Charlie? Better give me three. Joe? I'll take one. Tommy? Uh, two. How about you, Wally? No, oh, brother, I don't know why I ever stayed. Well, are you in or you out? Well, I might as well stay as long as I've gone this far. How many cards you want? Can I get a whole new hand? Are you kidding? Well, what the heck, it's only a game. I guess I'll play these. Hey, no fair fooling you guys. This is the first full house I've had. <laughs> we know you pretty well. Okay, it's your deal, Dave. Cheer up, Dave. You're bound to win a hand pretty soon. Oh, uh, that's not it. Look like you got that worried husband look. How come you know so much about it? Well, I've seen it on Pop's face often enough. <laughs> come on, Dave. Let's take things in their proper sequence. Deal first, then worry about June. <laughs> oh, well, is there any more coffee? Yeah, help yourself.
Hey, Dave. Yeah? If I find something out here to eat, is it okay if I help myself? Sure, go ahead. Oh, thanks. Where's the cake knife? In the upper right-hand drawer. Hey, where'd this come from? I just opened the cupboard and there it was. Well, June must have made it. I wonder why she didn't say anything. Who cares? Get some plates. Oh, wait a second, will you, please? If she made this for us, she'd have told me about it. Or at least left it out. Well, she probably forgot. She rushed out of here in such a hurry. What do you mean by that? Well, nothing. What are you so touchy about tonight? I'm not touchy. What you need is a great big piece of cake. Will you hold it a second, please? Come on, Dave. Quit torturing me. Can I cut the cake or not? I don't know. Let me think about it for a minute. I wonder why she didn't say anything. Well, when you make up your mind, let me know. <laughs> Are you especially interested in this? No, not me. I guess I was being kind of unreasonable. I mean, you know, expecting too much. I'm sorry, what was that? I mean, you know, expecting Dave to remember the exact date. I guess it was kind of silly. Well, I don't see why. It was a very important day in your life. I know, but it's not like a birthday or a wedding anniversary. And at least I could have put the cake out where he could see it and given him a chance to remember. I'm afraid I've ruined his whole evening. Oh, I don't think so. I don't know. I'm afraid he might think I don't want him to have his friends over to the house. Do you think I should phone him? Well, sure, if you want to. Go ahead. Excuse me. Maybe that's Dave now. Hello? Oh, hello, dear. Yes, she's right here. Junie, it's Dave. It's for you. Hi, honey. I was just going to call you. I wanted to tell you how sorry I am for the way I acted tonight. Are you kidding? You were fine. Uh, say, listen, I'll tell you why I called. I found the cake. Oh, you found the cake. Good. Does he remember? I think so. Uh, June, are you there? Yes, I'm still here. Uh, I'm sure glad I found it. I I'd completely forgotten. Oh, that's okay. He does remember. Hello? Yes, I'm here. I should have remembered these guys are always hungry. Uh, what do you mean? It's okay if we eat it, isn't it? I mean, it isn't for anything special, like a, a cake sale or anything. What gave you that idea? Well, I mean, you didn't say anything about it, and you kind of had it hidden away. Can we eat it now? Would you wait a minute? Uh, hello, June? Uh, honey? Yes, I'm still here. Uh, how about it? Uh, can we eat the cake? <laughs> you might as well. Go ahead. Okay. Well, I'll see you later. Bye. Now? I guess so. Here you are, you guys. A beautiful homemade cake. <laughs> Is that the cake you've been talking about? Yeah, how about this? Just like Mother used to make. Well, where'd you get it? Well, June baked it. Why? Well, it sure is just like Mother used to make. When she wanted Pop to remember an anniversary or something. Well, yeah, but June baked this one. Yeah, over at our house this afternoon. Well, I'll bet there's some special occasion you're supposed to remember. Well, anyway, it sure is good. Hey, oh, wait a second, you guys. Uh, Ricky's right. You can't eat this. It's for a special occasion. What's this? You saw him, he won't let me eat the cake. Next time, let's play poker over at the fraternity house. There's nothing to eat there, but at least they don't take it away from you. Hey, look at this mess. Oh, I think I can fix it. I used to do this at home all the time. Yeah, just don't give her the piece with a bite taken out of it. Oh, go ahead, you guys. You might as well eat it. It won't do me any good anyway, unless I can remember what the occasion is. Well, let's think about it. It's not your wedding anniversary, not yet. No, it's nothing as obvious as that. Well, how about the anniversary of your first date? No, I don't think so. Maybe it was the first time you took her dancing. No. How about the anniversary of her first fight? No. The way it looks now, that'll be a year from the night. <laughs> well, let's get at the cake. They should be finished playing poker by now, don't you think? Oh, I imagine so. And don't feel too bad about Dave's not remembering. I'm sure he'll make up for it. Oh, I know he will, and thanks for listening to me grumble. Oh, don't be silly, and take it easy driving home. I will. Good night. Good night, dear. Oh, and you. Let Dave put the car away. Don't worry, I will. Hi, I'm home. Well, hi. Surprise. I bet you thought I'd forgotten. Forgotten what? Oh, come on now, none of that stuff. I remembered, and here are the flowers and the candy to prove it. Well, thank you, dear. They're lovely. Now, what are we celebrating? <laughs> special occasion. What special occasion? I don't know. You were the one who baked the cake with the marble frosting. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, now, now what's the special occasion? Well, it was just a year ago tonight that Dave proposed to June. Oh, come on now. 
And we're supposed to celebrate that? Well, of course not. June baked the cake for Dave. Well, then, uh, why am I giving you flowers and candy? Because you love me and you're a sweet and thoughtful husband. Well, I know that, but who... I mean... Well, I I'm also some kind of a nut or something, I guess. Hey, wait a minute. This is going to work out just perfectly. If you hurry, you can get there before she does. What, uh, what are you doing? Uh, where am I going? <laughs> hey, how about the first time you took her to the zoo? Come on, Rick. Either say something sensible or don't say anything at all. Well, I'm just trying to help. You're not doing any better, and she's your wife. Probably should have written these things down in a book someplace. I'd kind of like to know how it ends. If you find out, give me a ring, will you? Hey, a, a ring, that's it. You mean the first time you called her on the phone? No, the night I asked her to marry me. It was just a year ago tonight. Gee, how could you be expected to remember a thing like that? Oh, this is awful, a poor kid. I should have got her some flowers or something. Hey, Dave! Hey, that sounds like Pop. Dave! It is Pop. <laughs> so what are you doing up here? Well, never mind that. Here, give these flowers and this candy to June. Gee, thanks a lot, Pop. You're a lifesaver. You better get back in there. She's on her way up right now. Okay, uh, thanks. Okay, uh, come on, Rick. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. Hi. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh, gee, and I thought you'd forgotten. Well, I, I must admit, the cake kind of gave me a hint. But how did you manage to get out and get the flowers and the candy? Well, uh, you know the old saying, love will find a way. You left the balcony door open. Oh. Oh, I, I knew you'd be coming home any minute, and there's a beautiful moon out tonight. Oh, is that an invitation? Of course. But don't go away. I'll be right back. Don't worry. It's a little chilly. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, uh, yeah, really it is. Okay. Uh, Dave? Yeah? Don't you think we ought to get a ladder for your dad? 